Hello everyone, it's your brother in Christ, Diamond Dustification from YouTube again, and I'm making this as a short subscriber special as well as an update about what I'm going to be doing in the near future. I've decided to take the weekend off and catch up on my rest, and as you can see down in the bottom right, I got I got hit with another wave of, of insomnia this week, so uh, yeah, that's been going on, but nothing that's going to hold me back, uh, just resting up for the weekend. Uh, I was going to do a subscriber special video when I hit 300 subscribers, and when that didn't pan out, I figured I'd bump it up to 350, but, um, you know, kind of like along the lines of what I did with my beekeeping episode, but it just didn't, it didn't work out. I didn't, I ended up getting distracted, and I had to post other videos and stuff like that, so that kind of took over my uh, schedule. So today I'm gonna just I'm gonna do it now. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel, and I hope that all of the videos you've watched so far have been edifying for you. Um, I always put down in the description box below in my videos links to all of my playlists, and I recommend that you check them out, especially my eternal security playlist. Uh, my goal for this channel is to answer every single objection against our eternal security that I, that's out there. A lot of people call eternal security a doctrine in the sense that they don't think that it's important to the gospel, but it is the gospel. That is to say that it is the all-sufficiency of Jesus Christ. All it really means is that you believe that Jesus Christ paid the penalty for your sins, past, present, and future. If you don't believe that, then you're then you're coming to the cross thinking that Jesus Christ failed. So it's not it's not something to scoff at. This is a topic that is in need of defense because it is the gospel of grace. It is just as much a part of the gospel as the blood is or the cross or the resurrection on the third day. If you deny any part of the gospel according to Saint, to Paul in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, then you have a faith that is in vain. And that's, so this is not a joke. We need to understand that Jesus Christ did not fail on that cross and that we are perfect in standing before a holy and righteous and just God the moment we accept grace unto salvation. The moment we believe and trust in Jesus Christ for our salvation, we are sealed until the day of redemption, as according to Ephesians 1, 13 through 14. However, there are many other videos out there that I've made, such as, you know, some of the objections from atheists that say God is a murderer in the Old Testament. And you'll find those kind of videos in my evangelism vi uh, playlist. And I highly recommend you check those out as well, because there's good meats in there, okay? Having said all that, I'm going to give you guys a brief update on what I'm going to be talking about next. And you can see it right here. We're going to be talking about true prophets versus false, false prophets and true visions and dreams and stuff like that versus false ones. Now, I've touched upon this topic before. I said, how exactly can we tell when somebody is lying to us? But this video is obviously going to go into a much, much, much greater detail about this kind of, kind of thing because I've noticed that lately there's a lot of people out there that, that are attacking people like Tim Henderson and Chelsea Bedell and many others that have been having these dreams about the rapture, okay? And they tell us these dreams because they're trying to edify the body of Christ. Now, whenever somebody gives me a vision or a dream, I always test the spirits and I make sure I go to God in prayer. And that's what we should always do. Not just the ones that are hearing and are hearing the witness of the dream, but the people that have the dreams themselves. If you ever have a dream or vision or a prophet or some sort of prophetic uh, vision, you know, something along those lines. You always need to make sure that you test the spirit in that particular instance. If it, if it is delivered to you from some sort of spirit, ask that spirit in the midst of that, in the midst of the vision, if you can, what he confesses. Because if he does not confess Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, then that spirit is of Antichrist. And that is according to 1 John, okay? Test the spirits. Every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God, okay? The next thing you need to know is whether or not the vision you are given goes against the gospel of grace. If, any, if it tries to change any aspect of the gospel, of our salvation, of what Jesus Christ accomplished on the cross, then it is a false vision and you need to discard it. And believe it or not, just because you're a saved Christian doesn't mean that a false vision can't come to you. We are in a spiritual war. And the demons are always around us to try and sow division, discord, and anything else that they possibly can. Wrong information, you know, wrong prophecies, wrong anything. Anything that they can possibly do to hinder your walk with Christ and to cause you to, to cast a stumbling block in front of your brothers and sisters or in front of the unsaved world. They want to keep people in bondage, and that is their whole goal. So when somebody comes to you and says, well... I had a dream or a vision that God said we have to work our way into salvation. Dismiss that person immediately, especially if they deny reproof 
because they are putting their, that vision above biblical standard. God is not the author of confusion, and he is not going to contradict his, his own word, okay? That's not going to happen. The gospel is set in stone. He is the cornerstone that has been laid down as the salvation to any that believe in him. And that cornerstone is not going to be ripped up and thrown and tossed into the wayside just all of a sudden out of the blue. No. The only one that wants that cornerstone ripped up is Satan. And believe it or not, there's actually people out there nowadays that are listening to him. Veil, the mystery of Old Testament, it's written by Satan. He also wrote to mold. He, he himself told me in voice. So you're telling me, Hiro, that you're listening to Satan and you're trusting in him? Are you kidding me? I don't know if you're like just an atheist or something along those lines, but that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And I wanted to show you guys the kind of deception that's going on out there. And these people are willingly spreading that deception, knowing that it was delivered from a wicked spirit. Can you imagine? But as I said, the main reason I'm making this video is because so many people are coming against individuals like Pastor Tim and Chelsea Bedell and others. And based upon my, you know, my prayers, these people are not preaching anything that is false. Pastor Tim Henderson is a wonderful person, as I said in my last video. And he has, he has confessed Jesus Christ as his, Lord, as his Lord and Savior, and he knows full well the kind of war, that the spiritual war that we are in, and, the, and how much we need to be on our toes in these last days, or these last moments of the last days. Every single thing that he has spoken about as, as it regards to vision lines, line, visions lines up with what's going on in the world today and what, what, is, what has come to the world later on. He has never said anything against the gospel of grace. He has never said that we could lose our salvation. He has never denied Jesus Christ in any way, shape, or form. Everything that that man professes has always been faithful. So, this video, when I make it, is going to be a defense of true prophets versus false prophets. And we're going to be going into this a little bit more as I talk about that, okay? And that's the update that I wanted to give you. So I'm going to leave this video off with this. If you have any specific questions or something that I didn't answer in my Once Saved, Always Saved playlist, or my Eternal Security playlist, rather, don't feel free to post them in the comments below. Make sure you always read the pinned comments in my videos because I often make comments that expound upon something that I may have left out, and I pin that comment in my videos, okay? Or I just, sometimes it's just easier to write something than it is to speak it into a microphone, okay? Sometimes I, I leave things out. Sometimes I forget to say something. Sometimes I think I could have clarified something better, okay? So I add it down in the comments below. I've been getting into editing, but it's a very difficult job to edit my videos where I could insert other types of videos into it. I know how to do that. It's very simple, but it's time consuming. And sometimes it's often just better to make a new video entirely than try to edit. And it's kind of ridiculous but yeah that's the way it is the only videos that are worth editing are something that are 40 minutes long where i might have made one mistake and just edit that out put in the put in the reform and that's that but yeah so that's an update video brothers and sisters if you got any questions for me that you want me to answer about alternal security or otherwise feel free to post them in the comments below some of you are still waiting on me to get around to answering your emails or your comments that you've left especially jason who talked to me about the rapture I, I have not forgotten any of those questions, but it's been very difficult for me to find the time to get to them because I'm, I've got a lot of emails to answer and the Holy Spirit has been leading me in different directions and I have to follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit before anything else, okay? So God bless guys, amen and amen. I'll see you soon.